हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्सियोमेट्रिक दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर आई आई टी जैम टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन सो वी आर हेयर विद दिस प्रॉब्लम वन ऑफ योर पेपर दिस प्रॉब्लम इज अ एक्सट्रैक्ट एल्जेब्रा प्रॉब्लम सो लेट अस हैव अ लुक सपोज एन इज अ नॉर्मल सब ग्रुप ऑफ अ ग्रुप जी विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ट्रू so it's given to you that n is a normal subgroup now it says if g is an infinite group then g by n is again an infinite group second one says if g is non abelian group then g by n is a non abelian group third one says if g is cyclic group then g by n is abelian group fourth one says if g is an abelian group then g by n is a cyclic group so these are your options right so firstly what i will do i will do the same thing that you will be doing in your exam okay so firstly i will try to find out counters okay for a b and c and d because you, what you cannot do you cannot uh, check directly that which one of the option is true you have to verify every option right so that's what is the process in the exam uh so i will begin with the option a in your option a it's given that if g is in an infinite group then g by n is a finite group right so in in my earlier videos also what i told you that if you have g as the set of integer as, as a group of integer okay under addition so you this is a group of uh integers and you consider n to be any subgroup like this n z okay which is n times of z let us say it's 2 z then what it will be it will be only even numbers positive and negative even numbers all right now what do you know about g by n you already know that g by n that is z by n z is isomorphic to z n okay with respect to addition modulo n are you getting my point so this note we already know okay i'm assuming that you have to remember this note either you know this note or if you don't know you have to remember that z by n z the question group is isomorphic to z n are you getting my point so now see this is a finite group and according to the question it uh, uh, if g is an infinite group then g by n is an infinite group right so what i have taken i have taken my g to be an infinite group now n is normal why this subgroup is normal because your group is abelian group so for a abelian group every subgroup is a normal subgroup are you getting my point so we have taken g accordingly to the question we have taken n accordingly to the question but z by n z is not a infinite group that means your option must be incorrect all right so now let us focus little bit on your b option what your b option suggests that if g is a non abelian group then g by n is a uh, is a non abelian group right so that means if you consider any non abelian group then its factor group will be uh, what it will be uh, non abelian this is what your question says right so i will take a basic example of quaternions okay you uh, this quaternion group is a very well known group right so now you take a example of quaternion group now what do you know about quaternion group that there exist a subgroup okay uh, firstly i should define i think so it's like this okay so plus minus 1 is there i is there j is there and k okay i should also write plus minus k okay so it consist of eight elements okay quaternion groups consist of eight element and you know a subgroup okay this 1 minus 1 j minus j so you know that this subgroup actually forms a, this this set actually forms a subgroup all right you know this now if you will try to find out the order of g by n then what will happen you will end up with this thing right this is the uh, this is the uh, formula to find out the order of a question group so what will be the order order will be 
2 that means if you choose this as your uh, subgroup then it will have index 2 okay so g by n will have index 2 now you know that every subgroup of index 2 is normal therefore what i can say that n is actually a normal subgroup okay up till now what i am trying to prove here is that n is a normal subgroup the, the subgroup that i have chosen is a normal subgroup of quaternions are you getting my point what what thing i have used i have used the principle that if you have a a subgroup which has index 2 then that subgroup is actually normal now you know that this quaternions this group of quaternions is non abelian right this is what you know now this is normal right so according to your question g by n should be non abelian but you know order of g by n is 2 that's a prime order that means g by n will be cyclic what i am using here i am using that every group of prime order is cyclic so g by n is cyclic that means it's abelian so it cannot be a non abelian group so that means what we have used we have used everything what is given in the question but g by n tends to be cyclic so b is your incorrect option okay so now I will go directly to the D option. Then we will try to prove your C option why it is correct. So according to the D option, it says that if G is an abelian group, then G by N is a cyclic group, right? So this is what your question says that if you have an abelian group, then uh, G by N is a cyclic group. So for this D option, I will use a very important group in your group theory, okay, and a very famous group. Uh, so let me consider my G to be, okay, this set of rationals with addition, okay, this forms a group with addition. Now what I am choosing my N, I am choosing my N to be this Z, alright. Now you know that Q forms uh, a abelian group with respect to addition and n n is a subgroup of q that means it has to be normal so this is normal okay and this is abelian right now let us think about g by n so what is g by n it's q by z and what do you know about q by z it consists of elements like this p by q plus z right uh, such that p comma in Q R, uh, let us say Q is non-zero. I should write first. So Q is non-zero, and P by Q belongs to Q. All right. So this is your Q by Z. Now you know that. Okay. So what I am using here that this is not a cyclic group. Okay. So this is a very famous question group. Okay. So you should remember some of the property of this group in order to find out a counter example. In this group theory, uh, in this whole group theory or you can say in the whole abstract algebra, you have to remember many results in order to solve questions. Alright, so what you have to remember that Q by Z is not a cyclic group. You can prove it easily but in the exam you will not prove it. Alright, you have to remember this. So at some point of time, you have to remember this that why Q by Z, uh, that Q by Z is, an, is not a cyclic group. Now, for your knowledge purpose, what you can do, you can just try to prove it yourself that why it's not a cyclic group. But my job is to tell you only that it's not a cyclic group right now. All right. So that means we have chosen everything according to the question, but it uh, it ends with that it will not be a cyclic group. So the is incorrect option. So finally, what we have proved, not proved actually, but what we have uh, done that C will be your correct option. All right. So what it says that if G is a cyclic group, then G by N must be a abelian group. So this is what your option says. So let me just try to prove this option. Okay. So that will be a little bit informative for you. So see this claim. What I will be claiming that factor group of an abelian group is again abelian. Okay. So let us consider, okay, let me write a formal proof here for you. This video will be a little bit longer because of this. So let 
G, B and abelian group. All right. What you have to show that G by H, let us say, or G by N is uh, what G by N is an abelian group, right? So let G be an abelian group. Okay. So now how will your G by N look like? Okay. So G by N is actually given by this thing a n such that a belongs to g so there is an operation in between here okay the operation of what the operation which is given in your question so you have this this is the factor group all right is a factor group you have to show its uh, what you have to show you have to show its abelian so what i will do i will take two elements from here so let us consider x, y belonging to g by n. So we have taken two elements. Now since they belongs to g by n, that means it will be equal to some, uh, let us say a n and y will be equal to some b n such that a comma b belongs to g. Are you getting my point or not? Because they are, th they are the element of your factor group. So they should look like them. All right. So c x dot y, it will be what? A n B n right now you know that you can write this thing as a B of n all right so this a B now here is a product okay product of the elements of the group so what you can do you can write this as B a of n are you getting my point so you see what we got here that you can write this as B a of n Okay, so I think I, uh, I should write this thing also that what we are doing actually we are writing this thing as like this. Now n n is actually n itself. So you will get b a of n, right? Now you can again do that b n and a n. Okay, so what it is, it's y of x. So finally what you have proved that x y is y x for all x y. Okay, x, y inside what? G by n. So for all x, y belonging to G by n, what you have proved that x, y is equal to y, x. That means it's an abelian group. So what we have proved, we have proved much more generalized claim that factor group of an abelian group is always abelian. What your question suggests us that if G is a cyclic group, then G by n is abelian. But we proved that even if G is not a cyclic, it's only a billion, then also G by N will be a billion. All right. So this is how we can solve this question. So C must be a true option. Okay. So thank you.